All right. So, just letting you know, the video you're about to see may be extremely boring. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, Danny the Medic, welcome to the channel. Now today I'm over here at the Las Vegas Convention Center for the CES where the first stop is going to be the media room because I've heard that there's a free lunch. So let's check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Turkey and monster. This roast beef and cheddar. Yeah, I guess turkey and monster. Media lunch, guys. Let's see what's inside. Some chips over here. Oh, that's why it's so heavy. You got a bottle of water. Purified drinking water off Las Vegas. Got an apple. Grandma's cookies. Not grandpa's cookies. And the sandwich. Did I mention the apple? All right. This kind of uh, this kind of reminds me of the sandwich I get on Jet Blue, the one that you pay for. It doesn't look so good right now. Hi. You know what it tastes like? Carl Budding Turkey, if you know what I mean. Well, media lunch. All right, now that we got the uh, relatively disappointing lunch out of the way, um, you know, let's go take a look inside. Now, the reason I'm here is because I've heard all about the CES, you know, largest trade show, you know, very exclusive, industry only, not open to the public, yada, 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 right? As it turns out, all that is really just to protect you from being bored AF. So let's take a look inside anyway. Let's go. Oh, this is the Las Vegas Convention Center CES exhibit. 
So many comments in my previous Venetian CES video says that, oh, this one's better. So maybe it'll be better. Maybe you won't be bored AF. Let's go check it out. Get one of these here free Nikon bags. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna stuff it with a few more of these free Nikon bags. Now it looks like a bag. I don't even like Nikon. I'm a Canon man myself. Oh, this looks cool. It's a applied electric vehicle. It got a robot arm, much like the Yomi robot that, you know, does dental implants and stuff. Now this looks like a very fancy food truck. You know, it, it does, like, you walk up, maybe you tap your payment, and it dispenses you like a bagel or something, a hot dog. It looks like it. Now this is fancy. It looks like a giant scooter that you stand on, but you have to be like maybe like 30 feet tall to use this thing. And you gotta get a long pole. Yeah. Something about cameras. Hmm. Well, here's a Mitsubishi. Oh my god, guys. Does Blackberry still exist? I wonder what they're up to. They do cars now, guys? It's making no sense. I have no idea. There's no point in looking at this thing because you know, whatever they make, Apple just gonna put them out of business. More like uh, automotive stuff. Hey look, electric vehicle chargers. Let's take a look at that. I like how this carpet is designed like a highway. Bless you. Guys, there's absolutely no swag at this place. No swag. Here you go, the EV chargers. Now, I think electric vehicles are the dumbest thing on earth. I mean, like, maybe a hundred years from now, when they build all the infrastructure, and you can charge your EV in less than seven minutes, then we got something going on. And I'm looking at a 500-mile range, too. None of this nonsense we got today. You know, but you know, they're saying we got to start somewhere, we got to start somewhere. But I say they should not start it unless they're ready to make it, like, really good, you know? 
Oh, after you, sir. Thank you. You know, this is just, I don't know, a lot of people out there, you know, they want to hop on the bandwagon, electric vehicle, electric vehicle, and then watch, they run out of electricity. You know what I mean? And then they're stuck somewhere. Or they got to spend, like, the whole night charging it. It's dumb. It's just really dumb. What do we got now? Got some dash cams over there. I don't need that. Let's see, what company should I buy today? Can you imagine if that's how it is? I'm like, wow, look at this. There's like a single man and a single woman painted on the wall. That must mean something, guys. That must mean something. LiDAR over here. It's a new form of detecting people who are lying. Oh look, there's some donuts over here. Look, <laughs> donuts. Hello. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm just saying it's there. <laughs> you know, there's like not not too much food around here. Thank you. And now we're walking into this thing here. Like a little boxes, guys. Moon rocks. It looks like a free sample, guys. What is this? Is it some sort of candy? I'm not sure what this is, but into the bag it goes. I'm not even gonna ask if it's for free. I mean, like. Hey, look. Someone got some of that media lunch. That's really pathetic. That lunch was so disappointing. I was ex I was expecting a buffet. Even like if it was a circus circus buffet, it wouldn't be so bad. That's why people are coming in from all over the world for this. What's this now? Free wire transforming access to power. I mean, it's a wire. What? What's going on here? Oh, more of that. Now, why is it that electrical charging systems for cars got to resemble so much like gas pumps? Is it that people just, you know, they'll feel uncomfortable if they have to just like plug in a USB connector to the car. They're just gonna be like, how is this little USB gonna charge my car? No one's gonna know. I mean like, what are these bags for if there's no swag? Doesn't make any sense. And more charging. Now, the, I know, guys, guys, I know, I know. The question on everyone's minds is, how quickly would these things charge your phone? Maybe you just plug it in and you have to remove it right away and your phone's full. You know, could you just imagine? All right. Let's go down this way towards analog devices. There's a lady in a standstill. Nope, she's moving, she's moving. Gonna go around the lady here. What's in the swag bag? I don't know what's in the bag.
That's absolutely correct. So we want to have this trust experience available to all customers, but uh, so we will for sure have some of these features that we have just been talking about specifically dedicated to Mercedes Benz. And let me maybe add one more aspect to this network, right? So it's huge, it's a station worldwide, it's more than 10,000 outlets, but what's even better is that it's all full high power charging. So that means that it's not 50 kilowatt charges, it's not 100 kilowatt. You know what? I'm telling you one thing, guys. By the time electric vehicles, you know, like get get finalized and becomes a viable form of transportation, you know what I mean? My God, there's people in there. That is some mega power. That is awesome to hear. I can totally understand how big So I was saying, by the time, by the time, guys. Electric vehicles make some actual sense. You know, another technology is gonna wipe it off the map. It's gonna be like uh, that that Doc from Back to the Future and his Mr. Fusion powered automobile. He is throwing some banana peels, some coffee grounds, and then that's it. You got fuel to last a week of driving. That's how it's gonna be, guys. It's gonna be something else. It's gonna replace electric vehicles. As soon as electric vehicles, because electric vehicles gonna take like another hundred years in order for it to make sense. I'll be I'll be long dead. You, my viewer, will be long dead. You know, I feel sorry for all those people buying into the nonsense right away. You know, like they gotta plug into the house. You know, oh, it's green. They say it's green. They say, well, where do you think electricity electricity comes from? You know, don't come from nowhere. It's not like they fly a kite and, you know, attract the lightning to charge the car or something like that, you know? It's ridiculous. They just believe anything. Alright. Heavy duty stuff going on here. Heavy duty. Hmm. Alright, something's missing from these things. Aha! I knew these things were food trucks. I knew it, guys. I knew it. Let's find the hot dog truck. I smell food. I smell it, guys. It smells like catered food. Where is it coming from? I smell food, guys. I smell food. I hope it's not going to be like the food court where you have to pay for the food because I am not paying for food here, guys. I'd rather go eat at the AVN. I'm just kidding, guys. You should not be eating at the AVN. Oh, that's why I smell food. It's a retail outlet for food over here. That's right, I have good old factory senses. Let's see what they got for sale. There's like tea and stuff. But I smell, I smell meat. Let me keep following my nose here. No. There's a crowd over there. I wonder what this crowd is about. Let's go around and figure this out. I smell spaghetti and meatballs. That's why I smell, guys. Whoa, look at these huge trucks. They look so much bigger when they're not out on the street. You know what I mean? It's like context and all that. The smell of food is getting stronger. Oh, 
Oh, I'm losing the smell of food. Could it be somewhere in here, guys? Oh man, the smell of food is gone. What's this? It's like a cafe maybe? I smell coffee now. Hmm. All right, so here's a long line. This this may be for the food. Oh, deep exploration of outer space. Hi, sorry, thank you, excuse me. All right, boy, don't get me started on space travel. It's like, People are spending billions of dollars on space travel. And meanwhile, it's like, why bother? You know, it's like, you know, there's so much more you can do with your money back here. Instead, they're launching things into space. It's like, I mean, I can understand like satellites and whatever you need, you know, but like to explore Uranus, you know, come on, really. No need to explore Uranus. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You know, you can leave your anus alone. Oh, so this is the line. Why do I smell food? I'm guessing this is just coffee. The food is coming from somewhere else. Oh yes, we're back at the big trucks. So yeah, that was just coffee. Now let's walk down this way. You know what guys, if I don't get any swag, you know, like in the next 20 minutes, I'm just gonna have to steal something. I just grab like the display unit or something and chuck it in the bag. I don't even care what it is. I mean, I didn't come all this way for nothing. Oh, what's this? Uh, I don't want any Coke. Hmm. Oh look, it's like a cafeteria, but they sell you food, which is probably like a thousand times better than the media lunch. What do we have here? Ah, uh, is anything here free? Nothing free? Okay, thank you. There's nothing for free, guys. I mean, I'm sure a ketchup packet is free. What we got here? It's house brand? Let's see what this is. It's house. Finally, some swag. My goodness, so hard to get any swag in this thing. I went to the the bodybuilding exhibition they're giving out everything for free turkey jerky beef jerky all grass-fed t-shirts and water bottles and protein supplements like they're just giving it away I mean I guess you know being how this is a consumer electronic or whatever they're not gonna give you away the trade secrets the patents or you know actual units of uh, product because they'll probably be worth a lot more It'll be worth so much money. Wait, is that swag? Is that swag? Oh, pens. Hi, how you doing? Hi, you got a free pen? You got a pen? Oh, thank you so much. Gotta be on your video. Oh, there we go. Okay, Intertech. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, a pen, guys. We got a pen. Finally, something. All right. Ooh, maybe this I can get a pen over here. Then what I'm gonna do with all those pens? I have no idea. Yeah. 
All right. Hmm. I mean, it's fancy looking. How you doing? Very good. And we're in the back. There are some. Uh, that door leads out to some sort of a yard full of lifts. Like scissor lifts, that sort of stuff. Oh my god, this thing looks weird. Okay, after this, we'll check out the boat. This looks like. It moves, guys. It moves. Why does it move? So it can follow your electric vehicle down the highway to charge it. That's what it's for. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, now the boat. Why is there a boat here? Let's see what's inside the boat. Nothing much inside the boat. Let's see, there's some awards that has already been handed out because it's 2023. Alright. I'm getting so tired. But I shouldn't complain because look at this guy working hard over here. That thing must weigh like 85 pounds. You know? 85 pounds worth of stuff and the head that's probably a 60 pound tripod and here be vlogger I wonder what's so good to vlog over here oh I don't even know what that is child seat maybe all right finally something fun what's this Spin wheel when con will continue at 2 p.m. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's a long lunch break. Right, right. All right. Because, yeah, we were doing like those, the one who's working for that one, but definitely this is our dash cam. Oh, dash, dash cam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Dash cam. Watch this thing be rigged. All you ever get are discount coupons. <laughs> All right, now let's walk down this way. Now, I don't do steps, you know, with the whole like watch and stuff. I just think it's unnecessary to know how many steps because if you gotta get to where you're going, you gotta get to where you're going, then you go home and that's it. You know, what's up with like 25,000 steps? But I am walking a lot today. And here be a motorcycle. Now, I can understand electric motorcycle. You know, because if you think about it, it's a smaller battery, you know, lighter load and etc. But cars are ridiculous. Yep, there's no swag at the CES, guys. No swag. Oh my god, Uniden. I used to buy their beepers from back in the day.
Okay. Now let's see where else we can go. something from LG Wow guys magnificent screen Now, Targets, I think I own like some of their backpacks or something, like laptop bags. It's a good name. Oh, I see they also have peripherals. Nice. HDMI Here's a security guard company I mean like an alarm company Maybe next time. <laughs> hmm, let's see what this thing does. Now, are you, do you still want to put it in your mouth after it's been through all that? The answer is yes. Red Bull? What does Red Bull got to do with technology? And do they have three cans of Red Bull? No, there is not. Unless there is. No, there is not. That's for you to tell. Hmm? That's for you to tell. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Nice to meet you, thank nice you. Meet 
Oh, finally, something I'm interested in. Cannon. Uh-oh. They're gonna, like, destroy my bag when I show up. What is this, the pit of despair? Oh, it's like a cafeteria. Ah, you can purchase stuff here. <laughs> Okay, this one's called Lot. I thought it was a supermarket chain for some reason. Alright, don't know why I think that, guys. There's a lot of people lined up for this thing here. Is it free food? Nah, it's just... You know, they spend a lot of money decorating this place. We got some commercial displays over here. You know, I mean like, usually people want to skip the commercials, but if you want to display it, you can display it. Hey look, there's a lady standing in front of a door that says C. Let's see what it says, Connect Life. I don't see much in there. You know, I have to say, this is kind of like a little bit better than the Venetian one because you got like a lot of ventilation going on in the ceiling. I can see all those vents dishing out nice cold air for you. Alright. Now, which way? Which way? Let's go towards the left here. Seems like a lot of people are going to the left. Got like a little waterfall going on over there. All right, so now it's something called a Bugatti, a Bugatti. I don't know why it sounds so familiar, but I know it's something I have not seen before. Got a headphones and earbuds. Some sort of partner for the NFL. U.S. Army.
Here's some gaming stuff for people who enjoy gaming. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I gotta sit down. What, is, what does the sign say? Can I sit down or not? Let's be served. No. Well, there you have it, guys. The Las Vegas Convention Center with the CES inside it. All right. Thanks for watching the video where we had taken a look inside, as promised. All right. Have a good one, guys.